Mike with Saltwater Bushcraft here. What's up? We're camping good out here. We're out at the Hampton Track, Southwest Florida Water Management District property. Doing a little bit of tent camping. Got the big old tent out today. Um, I was going to bust out the GoPro, I don't know yet. I'm kind of just taking it easy this weekend. Really worn out, tired. I don't know, there's a couple lakes back in the back of this property. Uh, I'm probably going to go back later and I'll uh, bring you guys with me and we'll check that out. Alright, catch you guys later. So I wanted to share with everybody my setup for the weekend. We got the Ozark Trail. Uh, this is the six person dome tent with a six foot clearance in the center. Actually, you can pretty much walk the, the whole inside of the tent and stand up in it. So, it's narrower, but it, it works good. It has plenty of room in it. And I hung a cheap tarp up that I got at Harbor Freight for like 15 bucks with some cheap paracord. Um, a ton of cheap paracord because these trees are far and few between at this campsite. Let's check around this way. Show you the back. You see, I got the little uh, shower set up. Yeah, it's hot down here. I can't go to sleep without a shower. So, when I do my solo thing, I won't be having no shower with me, unfortunately. So, I'll have to do with what I got. And we got the big back screen window here. Check that out. And hopefully, I got this far enough of an overhang with the tarp that the rain won't come in. I hope so. If not, I'll pull it down with a piece of paracord and stake it to the ground and voila taken care of so this is the campsite it's an equestrian campsite southwest florida water management district um, owns the property and they maintain it like this campsite they have uh, what looks to be a guy out here who lives out here and manages the property opens the gates and stuff so there's hitching posts for horse there's horses there's um, water trough um, like tubs and stuff under non-potable water spigots and stuff. So, yep, this is our setup for the weekend, and uh, we just went, got back from going and exploring those lakes farther down the road past the campsite. I'm glad we did that. I caught a couple little bass. It was fun. So, all right, I'll update you guys further if there's anything else going on. Catch you later. So this is really cool. We came back out here from the campsite to these big, huge lakes. There's two of them, and the road goes between them back there, between these two big lakes. And they're spring-fed. I don't know if you can see, but it's like really deep. There's big rock there, and there's brim out there, and there's a there's a bass right there. That's so cool. So neat. So neat. Out here in the middle of nowhere in Florida. Love it. Do some fishing out here. Camping about eight miles down the road. And the road goes out to these lakes. These are pretty cool. There's two of them. See what we want to use. We gotta rig this thing up. So it's like really hot out here. And I hate having to rig up. Because you gotta start from scratch. Alright, watch this. Oh yeah. Damn. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. Yeah, Alright, that's number two. summer days in these freshwater lakes like this, these spring fed lakes, you can't beat like a small jig. Something real small. Bigger baits is just, they spook real easy. See the sun comes out like this and it'll reflect on this jig. You know, that's, it's pretty deep. Fish. I'm gonna try to get down there with this jig to the bottom. Out there somewhere. There's some big brim in here. I'd love to catch some uh, big bluegill. Some nice big bluegill or something. Two nice big bluegill would be nice. Throw them in some hot lard. Some nice flower dredge or something. just goes to show you too, you see these fish moving around high in the water column. You know what I mean? That's only what you can see with the naked eye. What's below that? What's down there? I don't even know how deep this is. It looks like there's a shoal out there. Or a rock formation or something. There's definitely some structure on the bottom. bet any amount of money on it, the one behind me is as well. <laughs> I really just wanted to catch a couple. It was either that or jump in and to be honest with you this water is looking kind of nice. Damn there's a nice bass right there. Oh Jesus H almighty, son of a gym. That was a bunker. You just smashed this hit. I just missed him. He was a big one too. Good night. Damn, how did I miss him? That was a good sized fish, y'all. I'm telling you on this on this eighth ounce Lindy Burler. It's a good thing I didn't make a rash decision and jump in. You see a gator over there. He's still over there. I say he's about a good little four and a half foot. So if he's in here. I'd like to bet that there's other ones in here as well. Probably some might bigger than him. Alright y'all, we're going to get out of here now. I farted around and caught a couple. That's really all I wanted to do. Alright, catch up with you later. We pulled off the side of the road on the way back to the campsite and found this little like ditch I guess I don't know but there's baby gators in here and everything it's pretty cool and uh, the water management district has a pipe in here and that's where we came from 
so cool. And there's stuff jumping in here. There's probably some armored catfish in here. I know there's gar in here. And I'd bet there's bass in here. Probably a brim here and there. I want to thank everybody for coming along with me this weekend. Next weekend, I'll bring you guys along as well and see what we can get into. Um, one more thing before I go. Um, I wanted to show you something. You know how gear can get pretty expensive pretty quick, right? Well, if you do some searching online, you don't have to pay top dollar for things that work the same effectiveness. For instance, I bought this twig stove. They can get expensive, $40, $50. I paid $15 for this. Same effectiveness, it packs down, same size, and it comes with a little drawstring mesh pouch. And I believe this is for um, alcohol, I'm not sure, but I might be wrong. But it, it breaks down, um, folds flat, everything. And it's a stainless steel, it's not aluminum like you might think. But I found that for $15. I think the total sale with the shipping costed me 27 but still, that's, you know, a lot less than if I would have bought a more expensive one. So, that being said, take a look and see what you can find. You don't have to be forking out a ton of money to get gear. So, alright. Well, that's about it for this weekend's adventure, wrapping it up. Um, like I said next weekend I don't know what we're going to do but I'm going to work on that now and see where we can go so until later see ya appreciate it